This is a really vibrant Mexican style salad. It's a bit of a, an assembly rather than a cooking job, which makes it even faster for you. Lots of colors and textures and flavors. This one is vegetarian, but you could use it as a side if you wanted to for some smoked chicken or some tacos canitas or something like that. So let's get started. I'm gonna make a really easy dressing. We've got some sour cream, some smoked paprika. The flavor in there sort of gives this dish uh, a more cooked sort of sensation than it actually is. So it's a bit of a, a cheats way of doing it. Zest and juices of these limes for texture and color and flavor. So all of that zest, and then we're just gonna squeeze these in there. This will really loosen the sour cream up and make it more of a dressing consistency rather than a dip. You could turn that inside out and dehydrate it and make a beautiful cocktail garnish. Now we're gonna give that a good stir around. So we do this first so that that paprika and the juice and all of the flavors sort of become one rather than separate. Because of the acidity, you can put any leftovers into a jar in your fridge if you need to. So it'll last up to a week should be fine. So you're just gonna season it to taste. Salt and lime goes very well together, but just mix it to how you like it. And we'll put that aside and we'll start to assemble our salad. So we've got our lettuce here. We want everything to be sort of one or two uh, different shapes. So we're gonna have a whole heap of different shredded textures. And then we've got a whole heap of sprinkly tumbly textures. I think iceberg is one of those things that's a little underrated. Might have got overused when there was only one lettuce available, but it's pretty satisfying in terms of crunch and color and sort of being a vessel for all of these other good things. All right, so we're going to put this on our plate and sort of spread it out a little bit so that you can start to pile other things in the middle, like this shredded carrot, so that you can still see each layer. It's always good to taste a bit of your onion if you're serving it raw before you do so because some are hotter than others. So if you're serving it raw to little ones, you might only use a half an onion. Break that up. Probably go without black beans. So this is a great source of protein. Now you can get these canned. I would just rinse and drain them. We've got some beautiful corn here. Again, you could use frozen or fresh or uh, tinned if you've drained it well. Now we've got this beautiful assortment of a variety of colors of tomatoes. So wherever possible, we're gonna add more color to this dish where we can. So a beautiful tumbling of tomatoes. Now jalapenos, they have changed in heat. So if you're sort of, I would definitely taste each one before you're adding it to your dish so that you know how much heat you're adding. Again, as much or as little as you like, or if you need to keep it to one side for some heat resistant guests. Now we're going to put on our avocado. Again, if you're eating this as a whole meal and, and or vegetarian, I would tend to use more of the good fats. It's very satiating. It's going to give you a long sustained energy release. If you're going to be using this as a side salad, maybe you don't need to use as much avocado or use it as you please. So then we're just going to fan that out. To prevent oxidization, just add a little bit of acidity to that avo. I love coriander, but I know that there are 10% of the population that tastes so. If you're one of those people, don't put it on. Everyone else, load up. Now we've got our beautiful dressing that's just been getting more and more flavorsome as time goes on. You can drizzle that over the top. If you wanted to serve it on the side, again, if you're preparing this ahead of time, dress it right before you're going to eat it, or you can even put it onto the tortilla base or wrap base or taco base, if that's how you're going to choose to serve it. And there you have it. Vibrant rainbow Mexican salad. I think I'm gonna get stuck into this straight away.